Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So anyone who knows me knows I love deep sea creatures. It's probably pretty obvious for anyone who has been following this channel for the last couple years. And my family knows that I've been talking about one deep sea creature in particular, the colossal squid, for basically my whole life. My grandfather and I used to look up pictures of this formerly mythical creature in books, and my nephew and I used to do this project where we would try and draw a colossal squid to scale using way too many pieces of paper and then we would post up the pictures all around his bedroom walls it took up like even making this project took up his entire backyard so i could not click fast enough when i saw a video with this headline a colossal squid has been filmed in the deep sea for the first time i saw that and i went what so today we are going to look at this footage and I'm going to try and get to it pretty quickly. I don't want to bury the lead with this one. Let's take a look at this incredible creature together and then we'll get into the details about why this footage is simply astonishing. So our friends over at Schmidt Ocean Institute were the ones who released this footage. It was released on April 15th, 2025, and we've known about the existence of colossal squids for about a century. But the animal has mainly been found among the stomach contents of whales and seabirds. This is the first time that we have video footage of a colossal squid in its natural habitat. Schmidt Ocean Institute's research vessel spotted the colossal squid about 2,000 feet below the surface near the South Sandwich Islands, a remote uninhabited archipelago in the southern Atlantic Ocean. And I mean really southern Atlantic, like near the tip of Argentina, southern Atlantic. And the colossal squid that they captured is a baby, only measuring about one foot long. A baby that can grow up to 25 feet long and weigh over a thousand pounds when fully grown. So let's cut to the chase. Let's look at this footage. It's only about a minute and then we will talk more about it. Now, like I said, this little guy is a baby, and I can see some people being disappointed that it's not like a full-blown kraken. Release the kraken! But some scientists actually like this early development glance. Kat Bolstead, a cephalopod biologist at the Auckland University of Technology who helped verify the video, said, I actually love that this is our first glimpse of what will become a true giant. It's exciting to see the first in situ footage of a juvenile colossal and humbling to think that they have no idea that humans exist. Now, colossal squids tend to inhabit the cold depths of the Antarctic Sea. As I said, as adults, they can grow up to 25 feet long, and perhaps close to twice that if you measure from tip to the ends of their tentacles, and weigh up to 1,100 pounds. And colossal squids are different than giant squids. Though they can grow to be nearly the same length, the giant squids are not nearly as heavy and tend to be much more slender. And giant squids tend to prefer more temperate waters, and colossal squids loving these colder, more isolated waters is one of the reasons why they are thought to be such a mystery. Which is kind of odd, considering that they are thought to be the largest invertebrate on Earth and have the largest eyes of any animal, roughly the size of a basketball. Like, how can an animal this big remain such a mystery. The colossal squid's existence was first discovered secondhand in the chewed up remains of the stomach content of a sperm whale in 1925. Which again, there are just these moments that I would love to be a fly on the wall in history. Can you imagine the fishermen like going through these stomach contents and being like, what the hell 
is this? And for years, fishermen have seen evidence of this creature by observing that many southern sperm whales were covered with scars from colossal squid hooks. After all, this squid is so large, it is getting into fights with sperm whales. It wasn't until 1981 that a living full adult specimen was caught accidentally by a fisherman. Another squid was captured in 2007 and weighed an astonishing 1,091 pounds and is now displayed at a museum in Wellington, New Zealand. And we still have a lot to learn about these mysterious creatures, which some scientists theorize are actively trying to avoid humans. Cat Bolstead said they're very aware of their surroundings because any disturbance in the water column around them might mean a predator, and their enormous eyes make them extremely adept at spying both prey and predators in the dark waters they call home. Bolstead said, this is one of the planet's true giants, living in one of our most pristine marine ecosystems. It's a source of fascination and wonder, and it also plays a huge role in the Antarctic food webs. The expedition's chief scientist, Michelle Taylor from the University of Essex, said in a press conference that at first they weren't quite sure what they had captured. She said we filmed it because it was beautiful and unusual, but then we just descended all the way back down to the seafloor to do the exploration that the rest of the dive was focused on. It wasn't until a few days later after hearing back from some glass squid experts that the researchers fully realized the observation's significance. And given the colossal squid's penchant for staying away from humans, it wasn't like they went out on this dive expecting to see something like this. Bolstead said, much of our scientific and filming gear is noisy and bright, so squids will be well aware of our equipment long before we know they're there, and they will stay well away. The deep sea is a vast 3D space, and looking for specific animals there is tricky, especially when they are probably actively trying to avoid us. And scientists still don't know a ton of basic stuff about colossal squids, like what exactly they feed on, how long they live, what their reproduction productive traits are like. Aaron Evans, an independent glass squid expert, said at the same press conference, to get footage of a juvenile is so wonderful. Scientists know that colossal squids are born tiny, and obviously there are adult specimens preserved in collections. But the time between these phases is not really well understood. Evans said, so for us, to see this kind of mid-range size in between a hatchling and an adult is really exciting because it gives us the opportunity to fill in some of those missing puzzle pieces to the life history of this very mysterious and enigmatic animal. I've covered Schmidt Ocean Institute before, and they are just continuing to capture phenomenal stuff with these deep sea ROV dives. The regions that they're exploring are so remote and so underexplored that it's no wonder that they are capturing some really weird and wonderful stuff. And every time they do, it offers valuable insight into a world that Honestly, we are just beginning to understand. Bullstadt says, observing the colossal squid gives us the chance to both learn about this remote place and to share the excitement of such discoveries with people who may not think about the deep sea very often, even though it makes up 95% of the living space on Earth and plays an enormous role in regulating our climate. And of course, hopefully one day researchers will capture footage of a grown colossal squid. I mean, that's the dream for everyone, pretty much. And Bolstead seems to think that it's inevitable. She said, eventually, when we see the adults, we will get footage of very large ones. They will have impressive hooks. They will be big and muscly. There will be lots of monster hype about them. But in this case, we get to introduce the live colossal squid to the world as this beautiful little delicate animal that highlights the magnificence of a lot of deep sea creatures, which I think is just a really lovely way to put it. So what do you guys think? Was there anyone else out there that shared a colossal squid obsession with me when they were a kid slash teenager? slash young adult. I just think they're so amazing. And there's this theory that I've heard that, you know those paintings that they have of um, huge krakens attacking ships, like especially during the pirate ship days, and like dragging them down into the water. And previously these were all thought to be fictional and you know, here be monsters stories. But now there's a theory that maybe they are just exaggerations of true accounts of colossal squids attacking ships and what that must have looked like from the sailor's perspective. And those kind of became these paintings and became 
these stories. And it, it's just a theory, so who knows? But let me know in the comments below if you think this theory possibly has some merit. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, I will see you in the next video.